What's happening guys, it's Bharat Nagpal for iGear and In and today we're going to be taking a look at the new Samsung Galaxy Grand Duo uh, Now this is a phone that was recently launched in India It comes with a 1.5 GHz dual core processor It has a nice 8 megapixel camera at the back, a front facing 2 megapixel camera A nice 5 inch display that is WVGA but has a nice overall appearance and uh, this phone also has dual SIM capabilities is what makes this device really interesting. The fact that it is priced at 21,500 rupees, almost half of Samsung's flagship devices, uh, which it resembles in terms of uh, features on the device, uh, the Galaxy S3, the Galaxy Note 2, the Samsung Galaxy Grand is a pretty nice viable option from Samsung for the Indian market. So let's quickly take a look at a couple of uh, things on the device and we'll start with Quadrant Standard. And actually before we do that we'll see if any running applications are there we don't see anything we just quit whatever is running and uh, let me quickly go into system information now here is where uh, most of the things should be cleared out for us so we have a arm v7 processor revision o it is clocked at 1200 megahertz so it's 1.2 gigahertz not 1.5 gigahertz and we have two cores now the hardware is unknown as of now but it is supposed to be a broadcom chip we do have about 800 megabyte of RAM in here as opposed to the one gigabyte uh, that is mentioned on uh, release information. So if you look at the display over here, we have a 480 by 800 pixel display with a DPI of 200 by 200. We have a refresh rate of 60 hertz. Uh, the GPU is a Broadcom GPU. So we can only assume that the whole chipset inside is a Broadcom chipset. So we are on a Broadcom SoC with 1.2 gigahertz uh, dual core processors and we have a Broadcom GPU here as well. So that information is out of uh, the book. So it is a Broadcom chipset. Now you can see the ton of sensors that are on this device. Now we have a gyroscope, accelerometer, magnetic field sensor, orientation sensor, rotational vector, linear acceleration sensor, a gravity sensor, and uh, then the supporting sensors of all of those. So you can see that uh, interesting amount of sensors on uh, the Galaxy Grand which really puts it in a different league altogether. So let's come back into the Quadrant Standard over here and run a full benchmark for the Galaxy Grand. Now we have disabled all sorts of power saving modes and uh, battery saving techniques that are in the settings panel. So be rest assured that this is what the final uh, product is going to perform at. final result is in and the device scores a very hefty 3687 uh, as you can see over here it's 3687 what I saw while the benchmark was running was that graphic performance tests were constantly running at 60 FPS now that is quite impressive uh, for a device of this value so we had 60 FPS throughout the graphic tests uh, in the 2d 3d tests in uh, quadrant standards that's good if I quickly take a look at scores at the bottom over here, you can see CPU is 5342, memory is at 3552, input output at 6022, 2D at 1000 and 3D at 2520. Let's quickly quit that and uh, we're going to come back out and we're going to run Nina Mark 2 guys and see what the GPU is like on this device and uh, since there's been no test, I'm going to run the first one here as well. So guys, I'm completely blown off. That is an impressive score on uh, the Nina Mark II test. Uh, likewise said on uh, the HTC Butterfly benchmark, uh, it's time for Nina Mark III. And even with a budget device, this is almost half the price of, uh, it's actually less than half the price of the HTC Butterfly, but it has the same amount of score on Nina Mark II. While it's already maxed out, so we need Nina Mark III to actually see what the device is capable of. 58.8 FPS on the Samsung Galaxy Grand Duos. Impressive stuff from uh, Samsung over here. The last thing I'm going to do for benchmarks is I'm going to run Antutu benchmark and uh, see what the score of that is like. Ok 
Okay, guys. Uh, so the scores are out. Eight six one one is the score now. Uh, unfortunately, it seems that we cannot connect with the server, so we can't get a detailed result. Let me try and see if I can quickly connect to Wi-Fi once again. Okay, it seems like we are connected. So it just appears that there is some server issue over here, but eight six one one is the score, and. Uh, here is uh, the detailed report over here. We get four out of five stars in uh, the Antutu result. CPU is rated at 2798, RAM at 1232, GPU at 3766, and input output at 815. So there you go guys, this was an instant look at uh, benchmarks on the Galaxy Grand. It seems like the device has a lot more uh, than what appears initially to the eye. Uh, one more thing that I'm gonna show you guys is the camera interface. Uh, a lot of you have been asking me for it. So here is the camera interface. Now, of course, uh, you do have tap to focus on the camera. We have a nice eight megapixel camera on this. Uh, we can also switch from uh, rear camera to front facing camera, as you can see over here. I'm gonna come back out. Uh, you have a couple of settings. You have the flash settings over here. You can turn on or off flash and set it to auto flash as well. Uh, if we look at shooting modes, we have several shooting modes, single shot, face detection, panorama, share shot, buddy photo share, beauty shot, and smile shot. Similar things as seen on the Galaxy S3. Uh, we have a couple of effects uh, that will change or add filters to your images and then we have detailed settings over here so you can edit shortcuts self-portrait uh, on or off you can turn on or off flash shooting modes effects scene modes exposure value compensation focus modes uh, timer resolution white balance iso settings metering mode outdoor visibility outdoor visibility basically you can turn on or off outdoor visibility to increase the visibility of the lcd outdoors you again have auto contrast guidelines anti-shake gps tagging contextual file names and image quality settings uh, all over here you can also uh, set your storage once you have a micro sd card installed on other device you can preview your images from here and you can shift from a camera to video uh, directly from here as well now it does shoot full hd 1080p video on the main camera what i want to see is does it shoot full hd 1080p video in the front camera so let's check that out in fact it doesn't even shoot 720p it only shoots 720 by 480p video uh, with the front camera which is slightly disappointing if you ask us so we have a 2 megapixel camera that's not capable of hd front video so there you go guys uh, this was a look at the hardware the benchmarks and uh, the camera of the Samsung Galaxy Grand Duo just launched in India last week. It's going to be available starting February. We have revealed the fact that it does indeed have a Broadcom chipset and uh, it is indeed running on a Broadcom GPU as well. So if you have any questions or queries, please uh, do leave them in the comment section below. You can see detailed benchmarks results on iGAN and you can catch us on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Do subscribe to our YouTube channels, youtube.com slash iGAN, youtube.com slash iGAN TV. We'll be back soon enough with a gaming video and the full review of the Samsung Galaxy Grand Duos. So stay tuned for that. This has been Bharat Thank you guys for watching.